The crop testing program has been evaluating corn and sorghum hybrid performance in Texas since 1967. Today, the program conducts trials for corn, sorghum, silage, and soybeans at nearly 30 locations around the state each year. Locations extend from the Rio Grande Valley to the northern Panhandle and from west of San Antonio to north of Dallas. Individual plots are two rows wide and about 30 feet in length. Inches are arranged in a randomized block design and replicated four times. This is done to provide an accurate estimation of variety performance while reducing the influence from variation of soil and topography in the field. Our program evaluates anywhere from 25 to as many as 50 hybrids from about a dozen seed companies at individual locations each year. The seed is received, inventoried, and packaged for planting at each location. This requires counting a predetermined amount of seed for every row of every plot in the trial. The amount of seed packaged varies by crop and production region based on plant populations common to the production region. Seed is placed in envelopes and arranged in boxes by location and plot order. Locations are then organized and boxed to match the planting sequence in the field. The majority of our trials are planted in farmers' fields. This requires us to load our tractor and planter and travel to the location when the farmer is ready to plant the surrounding field area. Once in the field, the computer system is set up to control planting operations. This includes the length of the plot and the alley, as well as the seeding rate. The planter has two riders, opening and pouring seed for every row of every plot. Our planter is a modified vacuum planter with seed plates designed to provide singulation and spacing similar to other commercial planters. The system also automates the creation of alleys, thus providing separation between plots in the field. After planting, locations are checked several times throughout the season. Each variety is tagged and labeled in the field at or near flowering. We also capture data such as plant population, plant height, flowering date, and other agronomic notes in every plot. As needed, we capture data on insect or disease damage, lodging, and other factors that influence variety performance. When the crop is ready for harvest, we travel back to every location with our combine. For harvesting, we use a modified combine and header with an onboard weighing system. We use the grain gauge system from HarvestMaster to capture grain weight, moisture content, and test weight for every plot. This data is used to calculate moisture corrected yields. After harvest, Data is statistically analyzed and the reports are generated for every location. Results can be found at our website, varietytesting.tamu.edu. At the website, you will find results for all of the major row crops in Texas. For corn, click on the corn tab and navigate to the variety trials, then scroll to the results. Results are typically posted within three weeks after harvest. If you click on an individual report, you find grain yield ranked in descending order. Hybrids highlighted in yellow are considered to have equal performance. In addition to yield, data for other agronomic characteristics are provided for each hybrid. At the bottom of the report, you will find additional agronomic and management information. This includes seeding rate, 
rainfall, irrigation, fertility, and other pest management information. For sorghum results, click on the sorghum tab and navigate to variety trials. The report structure is similar to corn. In addition to individual location reports and full reports, you will also find multi-year summaries. Hybrids that perform consistently across locations and or years should receive strong consideration for your farm. For more information, visit our website or contact us by phone or email.